Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the latest treatment options of osteoarthritis. Which treatment option is suitable for you and how to reduce the sudden arthritic pain. We will also give you some tips to avoid or reduce the unwanted side effects of arthritis medicine. So let's start. Osteoarthritis is a very common condition which can affect any joint in the body. It's most likely to affect the joints that bear most of our weight such as knees, feet, hip and back. Joints that we use a lot in everyday life such as joints of the hand are also commonly affected. Osteoarthritis usually starts from the late 40s and it is more common and more severe in women. Let's discuss about the medicines which will help relieving osteoarthritis symptoms, primarily the pain. First is acetaminophen. For mild to moderate pain, you can take acetaminophen which is commonly known as paracetamol. Though the effect is not satisfactory, but it is adequate enough in some patients to control the symptoms where we can avoid more toxic drugs such as NSAIDs. The recommended dose is 500 mg and the maximum dose is 1000 mg thrice a day. But remember that taking more than the recommended dose of acetaminophen can cause liver damage. NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, naproxen sodium are the most popular drugs to treat osteoarthritic pain. They can be used topically or orally. They are 30% more effective than acetaminophen medicines. Not to forget that NSAIDs can cause stomach upset, cardiovascular problems, bleeding problems, liver and kidney damage. So how to prevent these side effects? NSAIDs applied topically over the affected joint in the gel form have fever side effects and may also relieve pain. But sometimes it is not enough and intake of tablets are necessary. So in that situation, try to take this medication only when it is necessary. It will reduce the medication related toxicities. Next thing you should follow is that always take the medicines after the meal. But in spite of that, if you are still facing GI related side effects, then it's better to take gastroprotective agents like proton pump inhibitors 30 minutes before the meal. One more point you should remember that if you have renal disease, especially stage 4 or stage 5, then you should avoid taking NSAIDs orally. Instead, you can use topical gel. Next is duloxetine. Normally used as an antidepressant, this medication is also approved to treat chronic pain, including osteoarthritis pain. Next you can try is capsaicin cream. It is made from pepper plant and is effective painkiller. It's particularly useful for knee and hand osteoarthritis. Apply regularly 3 times each day. But remember that the pain relieving effects starts after several days of regular use. Now let's discuss about the surgical and other invasive options. First thing we will discuss is some injection procedures like cortisone injections and hyaluronidase injection. Injections of corticosteroid into your joint might relieve pain for few weeks or sometimes few months. Your doctor numbs the area around your joint, then places a needle into the space within your joint and injects the medication. The number of cortisone injections you can receive each year is generally limited to 3 to 4 as the medication can worsen joint damage. Injections of hyaluronic acid might relieve pain by providing some cushioning in your knee. Though some research suggests that these injections offer more of a placebo effect. Next is realigning bones. If osteoarthritis has damaged one side of your knee more than the other, then the natural weight bearing line is shifted. So in that case, an osteotomy might be helpful. In a knee osteotomy, a surgeon cuts across the bone either above or below the knee and then removes or adds a wedge of a bone. This shifts your body weight away from the worn out part of your knee. In joint replacement surgery, your surgeon removes your damaged joint surfaces and replaces them with plastic and metal parts. Surgical risks include infections and blood clots. Artificial joints can wear out or come loose and might eventually need to be replaced. Now let's discuss about the therapies available for osteoarthritis. TENS, that is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation is helpful for pain relief. This method uses low voltage electrical current to relieve pain. It provides short term relief for some people with knee and hip osteoarthritis. Next thing you should try is physical therapy and occupational therapy. A physical therapist can show you exercises to strengthen the muscles around your joint, increase your flexibility and reduce pain. 
Regular gentle exercises that you do on your own, such as swimming or walking, can be equally effective. Whereas an occupational therapist can help you discover ways to do everyday tasks without putting an extra stress on your already painful joint. For example, a toothbrush with a large grip could make brushing your teeth easier if you have osteoarthritis in your hands. A bench in your shower could help relieve the pain of standing if you have knee osteoarthritis. So that's all about medical and surgical options available for osteoarthritis. In our next video, we will talk about some home remedies available for osteoarthritis. So if you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.